Hey, and welcome back to Dissecting the Auto Policy. I'm Richard Reed and I'm your host. Man, we have made some tracks in this thing. We are moving right along. So right now, where are we? We're in part C, um, the uninsured motorist coverage. And we're actually beyond the, we, we've talked about, we're actually at the point of limits of liability. Let me just get right to it. Um, we actually covered the insuring agreement and we covered the exclusions. So this video is gonna be about the limits of liability. But first, we're gonna dissect the auto, right? So we're gonna break this thing down. You know, I want you guys to understand all the parts and how they all function. So this thing starts with a mutual agreement between the insured and the insurance company. From there, there's a set of definitions that we've covered. Then we go to part A liability, part B med pay, part C uninsured motorist coverage. Then we have part D damage to your covered auto, part E your duties after an accident or loss. And then we've got part F, which are the general provisions. Okay. Now, right now, where are we? We are in the part C limits of liability. Remember every single part, every section that provides coverage has an insuring agreement. It also has a set of exclusions. From there, there are limitations, and that's where we are today. We are at the limits of liability for the uninsured motorist coverage. Now, I'm gonna to read to you how this works, but I think you're very familiar. We've discussed split limits before. Split limits talk about uh, the amount paid per person, per accident, and for property damage, okay? A lot of times you'll see it, it'll look like 25 slash 50 slash 25. If you have higher coverage amounts, it'll be different because the amounts will be higher, like 100 slash 300 slash 50, something like that, okay? But let's take a look at it. So uninsured motorist limits of liability. The limit of liability shown in the declaration page for each person of the uninsured motorist coverage is our maximum limit of liability for all damages, including damages for care, loss of services, or death arising out of bodily injury sustained while any one by any one person in any one accident. All right, now, subject to this limit for each person, the limit of liability shown in the declaration page for each accident for uninsured motorist coverage is our maximum limit of liability for all damages for bodily injury resulting from any one accident. Okay, that's what we talked about earlier. So we've got a per person loss limit and we have an accident loss limit. Okay, now this is the most that we're gonna pay regardless of the number of insureds, the number of claims that are made or the number of vehicles or premiums shown in the declarations. All right, now last, um, or the number of, I'm sorry, or the number of vehicles involved in the accident. All right, now let's go to cover, uh, limits of liability uh, part B. All right, no one will be entitled to receive duplicate payments for the same element of loss under this coverage, which is coverage C. It's the same as part A, part B, and C, or for any uninsured motorist coverage provided by the policy. Okay, so we've talked about this, okay? Insurance is designed to indemnify you. There can be no profits in insurance, okay? We will not overpay you. You will not profit. The other thing is you will not receive damages from multiple parties, okay? If, if one party is paying the damages, there it is. If we're all on the hook, we will prorate and split the damages, but you will not receive damages here and then go over here and receive the same set of damages, okay, from another party. There will not be any duplicate elements of payment under liability, medical payments, or uninsured motorist coverage, okay? I can assure you that will not occur. You will face subrogation, and that is something that will come up later. All right, so let's continue on. We will not make duplicate payments under this for any element of loss which payment has been made by or on behalf of persons or organizations who may be legally responsible. So that's kind of repetitive, but that's what I just said, okay? So if, they, if you've been paid somewhere else and they're responsible, trust me, we're not gonna make that payment, all right? And then D, we will not pay for any element of loss if a person is entitled to receive payment for the same element of loss under any of the following or similar law, disability benefits law and um, workers' compensation law. And we've talked about that as well. So if workers' compensation plays a part in this thing, I can assure you, we're not gonna pay. Disability benefits law, same thing, okay? So let's go further. So what if there's other insurance involved, 
Okay, that's a good question. So if there is other applicable insurance available under one or more policies or provisions of coverage that is similar to the insurance provided under this part, the policy, and your recovery for damages under all such policies or provisions for coverage may be equal to, but not exceed the highest applicable limit for any one vehicle under any insurance providing coverage on either a primary or excess basis. Okay, so they're not gonna just pile limits up like crazy. They're gonna go with the highest limit there and that's the one that they're gonna allow you to go with. Okay, now let's look at another one. Um, any insurance we provide with respect to a vehicle you do not own shall be excess over any other collectible insurance providing such coverage on a primary basis. So we've talked about that as well. All right, we have an uninsured motorist situation, but we have other coverage, okay? And we are excess, someone else's primary. We are automatically gonna be excess in this situation because we've got more than one vehicle that is providing coverage, okay? now. If coverage under this policy is provided on a primary basis, all right, we will pay only our share of the loss that must be paid under insurance providing coverage on a primary basis. Our share is the proportion of our limit of liability that, excuse me, our share is the proportion that our limit of liability bears to the total of all applicable limits of liability provided on a primary basis. So basically, if we're set up and you're looking at the limits, and we've got a bunch of different limits stacked and we represent one third, no matter what the damages are, we just pay one third. We pay our portion, okay? Now let's look at it another way. On an excess basis, we will only pay our share of the loss that must be paid under insurance providing coverage on an excess basis. Our share is the proportion that our limit of liability bears to the total of all applicable limits of liability for coverage provided on an excess basis, okay? So you guys gotta understand if there's other insurance at play and if we're excess, we're excess. If we're gonna be primary on the loss, then we're primary. If we're primary and we're sharing the loss, we're only going to pay our portion of the loss, okay? So you have to understand that. Um, that's how insurance works, particularly in an uninsured motorist situation. So that's gonna complete our section on the limits of liability. Okay, um, and we also covered how it impacts other insurance. We do have one more section left, which is gonna discuss arbitration and how arbitrations will be handled in an uninsured motorist situation. My name is Richard Reed, I am your host. I hope you enjoy the video. Remember, I am an insurance agent, a licensed agent and realtor in the state of Georgia. My, um, I can be reached at 770-994-5596. Feel free to email me at gainsurancebroker at gmail.com. I look forward to your comments. Um, I'd be happy to respond, um, whether you're emailing me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever it is you're trying to get in touch with me. Hopefully I'll see it and I'll be happy to respond to you. Okay, um, again, I look forward to seeing you in our next video. And, uh, and keep us in mind because we do all types of insurance in this office and we handle real estate. It'd be my pleasure to handle it for you. Okay, thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Have a great day.